Hello, everybody. Hi, everybody. And welcome to the Weird Science Comics channel here on YouTube, where I'm going to be going through Strange Academy number two, an issue that's written by Scotty Young with art by Umberto Ramos. And if you're not aware, this is a book that's about a bunch of kids going to a magical school to learn magic from a bunch of magic users in the marvel universe now if this sounds familiar i i know what you're thinking here we go again here we go another book that's going to pretty much rip off laren peter and the magic mirror uh tanya grotter and the curse of the necromage or or even pori gadder and the stone philosopher i mean how many more books are going to rip off those I, I don't know i mean i can't even tell but Strange Academy is a good book. It end up where you had the first issue come out, and then unfortunately we had the shutdown. So coming back to it, I think it's lost some of its oomph, some of the hype that it had. And mainly, I, I liked it. I really liked it. There is a bunch of young characters that I really like. I love Umberto Ramos's art. I am a Scotty young fan and even after one issue i ended up hey you know my favorite's calvin or no my favorite's emily my favorite's Eric. You, you have that going on and that usually is how i can tell a book has gotten me well with the shutdown unfortunately when you come back here it is a hard book to jump back into there's a lot of characters this issue itself was probably not written be you know after the whole shutdown so there's no easing into it again or whatnot it's just all these kids they're going off to classes they're going off to school and that's really what this whole issue is about it's not necessarily about the kids themselves it's more about hey we, we showed you the kids in the first issue now let's show you the school see how they're interacting a bit with each other but also the classes that they have and that whole deal and yes this is very harry potter-esque it's also tanya grotter-esque as i said but that's the sort of magic stuff that I like. I like seeing what classes are they going to do? Who's going to teach them? What's going on? And so this issue is a lot of fun. As you see the kids getting up, each one kind of reacting a different to this first day of school as they're going off to their classes. And yeah, as you go through this, I think that a lot of people will have a lot of different ideas of who their favorite is. Emily is our point of view character, a character that just ended up finding out that she is a magic user when you saw that in the first issue, but you end up going off to class. You have the ancient one teaching them a class. It, it, this is fun stuff. I love Gus, the frost giant that is always just peeking through a window. You know, maybe a, a little bit of a peeper, but really just peeping in the class. It's not anything bad. And this is I'd say it's a good all-ages book, though. It does get a little complicated with a lot of characters thrown in here. It's not dark, but there is a kind of a dark thing that is hinted at in this issue. But I would say, you know, any kid that is, you know, got a nice reading level and can handle a bunch of characters would really enjoy this. But yeah, you have the ancient one teaching history of mystical objects. And, and these are the fun things about the second period. You have the zombie class. Y you keep going through this issue. Like I said, this is more about the school, the classes, the teachers, Scarlet Witch, and, and the third deal teaching the elements of chaos magic fourth period they have gym it just it goes on here and you do stop a little in fifth period with magic because you end up having Irik come in to class and Irik look at him he thinks he's justin bieber or something i mean really hey he's he's a believer and he comes in and he kind of makes a scene well magic doesn't really like this and magic does what magic does and sends him to hell this is kind of the detention, I guess, in Strange Academy. People will say detention is hell. This is legit. He goes to hell. Well, in the meantime, you've had this deal with Doyle Dormammu. If you don't know him, he's the one with the, the flaming pumpkin head. And he ends up getting sent 
to hell with Irik, which I think is ending up being more of, you know, something of a character moment for the two. They can kind of come together to fight off the minions of hell, right? Isn't, isn't that how all kids, you know, end up becoming friends in school? But you end up through all this, Emily, our point of view character, does have a point, and it's the big thing of this issue, where she ends up wondering, you know, I was told there is a cost of magic, and in the first issue, she did end up fighting this crazy demon tree, and afterwards, she did not feel well, and it was spelled out. Well, that's because of the cost of magic. You can't just use magic and expect to feel great and all that. Well, it seems as if the school is doing something where that cost is not so great or anything at all. And that's the interesting part because we find out that the school is doing something a bit underhanded. They are lying to the kids. But in the meantime, there's Doyle and Irek during their detention, the normal detention fighting off hell beasts. But you end up with the whole deal of... Emily asking about the cost of magic. They have a teacher's meeting. They're in the teacher's lounge, probably, you know, drinking liquor as they always do. And so that what did you tell her? Well, you know, I lied, but I don't really like lying to the students. Well, that's fine. We, we have to just tell them that the school takes care of it. And at first I thought Scotty Young was bringing it up as a way to say, like, if somebody called him on it they're they're at like a comic-con hey if there's a cost of magic why'd they go to the school and just, i thought it was just a throwaway deal it seems like it's a little darker than that and that's pretty intriguing and we end the issue again with little character moments you end up having shaley looking cute but really i like desi desi the demon there she doesn't do much, but she is kind of like a goth emo, and it makes me laugh there. But you end up having her and Zoe kind of, they're not really bonding yet, but you, you kind of get these team ups of the characters that you think are going to end up being the best friends in what is a magical breakfast club here. So you end up at the end where you have Doyle and Irek. They return from hell. Detention is over. And they're hungry. And I know how that is. When you fight through hell, you do end up working up an appetite. But that's the issue. It's very quick. The art's great. Very cartoony style that I love. The only thing that I would probably say that is a downer is it's more of an issue after the shutdown. It's it's a very subtle issue. Hey, let's look at the classroom and things like that. And after that long break, some people will not remember the characters and what they're all about. But again, this was probably written before the whole shutdown. So we'll get into this even more. And I hope that what Scott Young does is kind of separates the characters a bit so we can learn more about them. And he's, he's pairing them up. So I think that that would be something that he could do. Maybe focus on a couple pairs and issue something around those deals but overall i really did like it i'm giving it an eight out of ten i think that it's something that if you're looking for something light-hearted fun cartoony with younger characters that aren't involved in say that stupid outlawed event you can go here and have some fun which i do but that is the a video i hope that you liked it if you do like it below and also subscribe to the channel that would be awesome and look below for all of our links to weird science stuff, including Marvel and DC podcasts and websites and also a Patreon where you can go and support us for this video, all the videos, all the website reviews, all the stuff. I mean, podcasts, all that stuff. So thanks, everybody. And I'll talk to you later.